Hello everyone. What is up you guys? Um, I decided that I'm going to do my nighttime skincare routine with you guys because I get a lot of questions on my skin. So enjoy my um, PJs. I'm not really a huge PJ person. These are Christmas PJs that I wear during every season. So yeah, but anyway, so I want to talk about my skin before we get it before we like get into it um so I never really had a skincare routine my skin I never got like acne I had like a bunch of little whiteheads all over my chin I mean like if I can even get up close I don't know if it'll even focus but I have them on my face still but like they used to be all over my chin and like bumps and then from those bumps, I would get acne from them. And so my chin basically always had pimples on it 24-7. And it was really uncomfortable for me. So once I moved to Chicago, um, I went to a dermatologist. And I finally got treatment. Nothing worked for me. Like, absolutely nothing. Like, <laughs> it was the most brutal, drying out of skin, painful process that I went through with all my acne stuff. And eventually they were like, fine, we're just going to put you in Accutane because my acne wasn't severe enough to put me in Accutane right away. So they like didn't want to put my body through that if I didn't need it. So they waited a while and then eventually they were like, fine, we're done. Putting you in Accutane and it was the best thing that ever happened to me. My skin, like I don't really get pimples anymore. I get a few here and there, but like it's nothing like it was. Like all the whiteheads here cleared up. I just have like, like they're just little ones here. I need to go back to, to the dermatologist and they're just gonna like poke every single one of them with a needle and pop them, but it's not really a high priority right now, so. But yeah, so basically I'm going to show you my skincare routine. I do this, I would say 95% of the time some nights I'm like, I'm fucking tired, I'm not doing anything, I'm going to bed. It happens, we all get there, but like this is something that's like, especially in quarantine since I've had all this extra time, I've been really um, making an effort to put a little more like self-care things in there for me. So my skincare has definitely been one of them, and especially this nighttime one. And I'll show you all the products. I can link them all down below for you guys too. And yeah, let's get to it. Okay, so first of all, at night I double cleanse. So I use the Colt Classic, oh God purifying face cleanser by Tula. All of this stuff is going to be Tula. I found Tula from Winnie Simmons and I absolutely fell in love with Tula. I started using it around Christmas and I have fallen in love with everything about Tula. Like it's just such a nice, I feel clean. Like my skin doesn't feel like it wants to peel off after I use it. So at nighttime I use two cleansers. So I use this one that I just showed you and then one more. I also got um, the Glow Like Whitney Simmons kit. I just trust everything that she uses. <laughs> anyway, then I also use this super, oh god, this super calm, gentle milk cleanser. Okay. So I will cleanse with this one first just to get all the gunk off my face, and then after that, I will go in with this bad boy and then I will show you guys what I do after that so let me wash my face really quick I know the reason why we chose to say goodbye but I can help my feelings right now I can't deny you never left my mind and now my heart is bleeding why did I have to break it up? Guess I was just a young girl living. Okay. Okay. So I just finished the purifying face cleanser. And that one's just really nice. I just feel like refreshed afterwards. I feel like I have all like the normal gunk that's on my face throughout the day gone. And now I'm going to go in with the calm and gentle one. So. Purifying. In a dream world. I thought that I'd be better off But now I pay the price I do I don't know how to forget you I can't forget you You're always on my mind I do that thing Okay, 
also the calm and gentle one is done. I just feel very clean. I don't know. Like I've never had a face wash that did make me feel like my face was gonna peel off. You know what I'm talking about? That, that like, like the chemicals are so harsh. Like you wash your face, you're like, oh my God, lotion, you're like SpongeBob. <laughs> Like, you know that one episode when he goes to Sandy's place and Sandy has air in her little cute circle thing, whatever? Okay, for me. Anyway, but he, like, dries out. That's what my face feels like. It feels like a dried out sponge <laughs> when I use other cleansers except for Tula, so. Okay, cleansers are done. And as part of my nighttime routine, I do brush my teeth, so I'm just going to do that real fast. You guys don't need to watch that. I don't really think you want to watch that, so I'm going to do that really quick, and then I'll pop back in with the rest of the steps. Yeah. Okay. Goodbye. <sighs> there is something about just scrubbing the shit out of your teeth at night. It feels so good. Anyway, so next we are going to go into another Tula product. You know, you feel. There's only one product in here that I'm not using, that I'm using that's not Tula. That is a random snack from Target that I'm like trying out before I buy something that's like good that I've seen somewhere. So, one second. Okay, next is a toner. It is the Get Tone Pro Glycotic 10% Resurfacing Toner from. Alright, so I think it focused there at the end, but the Get Toned Resurfacing Toner. La -dee -da, -dee da I put about three pumps on my little like cotton powder here. I just put it all over my face. Really try to get that grime off, that sweat. Like I sweat so much throughout the day and it's summer right now. And especially because it's summer, I'm trying to be extra like, can I get your neck? I didn't realize how important your neck was until I just kept watching beauty gurus and like skincare people on YouTube. They're like, oh my God. Cause like your skin is still so sensitive there. So I've started doing my neck when I've been doing this stuff. But anyway, since it's like summer, I've been trying to make sure that I'm even better with skincare because I just sweat so much and like I'm working out in like a dirty garage. And who knows So And coronavirus, so whatever. Anyway, you just get all that out of there. And I don't know if you can see, there's just like a little bit. You can't really see it in the camera, but there's just like a tint. And that's all I need. Next, we have, now that we've done that, we are gonna go in with my favorite moisturizer on the entire planet. This stuff is absolutely amazing. It's the Tula Skin Care 24-7 <laughs> Moisturizer Hydrating Day and Night Cream. Mm -hmm. And it is, there we go. Guys, like this, sir, sir, hello. <laughs> oh, okay, anyway. This is one of the best moisturizers I've ever used in my entire life. It just is like, oh my god, like nothing, focus, nothing is focusing right now, I'm really sorry. But it just comes in this little thing. Put a little dabble on your finger, and then you spread it to your other finger, and then I go down on my neck, just a little bit, on my cheeks, on my, now that was my chin, those are my cheeks, and then up my forehead, and then I just rub it all in. It is one of the creamiest, most buttery moisturizers that I have ever used. And it smells nice and fresh. It is just lovely. And like you just have to, un if you if you have it, comment down below and tell me and like, and just like agree with me so I know that I'm not crazy because it's literally gorgeous. It's so freaking awesome. Anyway, out of all these products, I honestly probably highly recommend this moisturizer the most, especially if you're like really dry skin do it okay anyway next I use <laughs> I really have all tool stuff it's ridiculous I use the rose glow and get it you know just to add a little little shimmer a little spice make everything <laughs> nice <laughs> that will look great. anyway I use the rose oh my god here we are in rose there we go the rose gold and get it eye balm so it's not like an eye cream where you put your finger in something and then spray it on your eye it's like lip balm for your eye how freaking 
crazy. I think that is one of the smartest ideas ever because you don't have to touch your eyeballs with your harsh fingers. And it's just so. And like, it's like, it has like a minty almost, um, like after feeling. So your eyes literally just feel so refreshed. It's It was one of my favorite things ever when I first did it. I was like, oh my God, my eyes are tingling. <laughs> but I highly recommend this stuff. I love it. It's super gentle too. And then to end the skincare part of it, I'll show you guys what I do with my hair at night with like having curly hair and like trying to help the breakage. <laughs> yeah, anyway, so I just, I've been wanting to like try a serum because I know those are like the hot commodity right now, but I don't want to spend a bunch of money on them if like unless I was either doing my skincare regularly, which I have started to, and if I liked like the oil serums. So I just picked one up from Target. This is the Shea Moisture 100% Virgin Coconut Oil Daily Hydration Overnight Face Oil. If it's gonna bogus. Yeah. So one day I just picked this up at Target and I was nervous it was gonna make me break out because I, I don't have like oily skin, but I don't have dry skin. I'm a nice like medium. So I was afraid it's gonna like make me break out with like the oil on my skin. But it hasn't, it has actually made me feel just like so absolutely just like moisturized, lovely. I wake up in the morning and just feeling like really, really great. Like I, like I find that when I don't do my skincare at night, I am not a happy camper in the morning. At least my face isn't as heavy, so. Oh, I got on my shirt, that's embarrassing. Anyway, so. I just rub it all in. And look at the, like, I just feel so refreshed. I feel moisturized. I feel ready to go. And then every night, especially right now, because I've been getting sun, I'm putting lotion all over my body. Because I'm a little somber right now because I don't put sunscreen on, which you should always do. But we only have, like, zinc oxide, and I just wanted to get a little, a little color. My pale baby self, so... I use this at night, the 24 hour, 48 hour moisturizer, Nivea essential oil enriched, whatever. So I'm gonna go put that all over my body and I will see you guys after I finish doing that. So talk to you guys in a second. Okay, so I just finished putting lotion on my body and now I'm gonna show you what I do with my hair. I know that's not really skincare, but it's a part of kind of like my nighttime routine because my hair is pretty curly so, um, and I have a really, like, really hard time with it growing. So I'm trying to listen to my hairdresser. So I get it trimmed really off, really, like super often. I do color it, it's not naturally blonde. It's like a, whatever that is. So if you let me, if you know what it is, let me know. Comment down below what color you think my hair is. Anyway, so I brush my hair almost every night. Like again, I probably do this whole thing 95% of the time. I'm pretty, I've been pretty good about it recently, so. I just use the wet brush. This is, has a lot, a lot of hair on it, I'm sorry. But I just use like one of the, like the ones with the bristles on it. It's supposed to like shine, whatever. So I just, yeah, as you can see, it's like pretty fucking curly right now. So I'm just gonna attempt to brush through this. It's like I should do so I can forget but you're always on my mind. Thought you'd be gone by tomorrow but you're still Okay, so I finished brushing out my hair. Um, ow. And so as you get, it's, it's like after, if you have curly hair, you know, but after you brush it, there's nothing you can do with it. You have to put it in a braid, you have to get it wet. You can style it, but I put mousse and, like not mousse, but like curling formula and stuff in it whenever I had it curly. So after I do that, I really like to put like a heat on it. If that makes sense? Anyway, so. Then I go in with my Paul Mitchell hair oil. I just got, I, I, I get this at, I'm not trying to focus it, it's taking forever. So I just get this at, um, wow, CVS. So put a couple of squirts at it and then I mix it in my hands. And I basically literally just run it through my hair. 
mainly at my ends because that's where like a lot of my breakage obviously happens so I kind of just try to work it into my hair so I've also been trying not to wash my hair as much so what I do is I probably like get it wet in general every other day depending on if I style it or not if I style it I can usually go a little bit longer but if I wear it curly I usually get it wet every other day but I don't wash it like I don't use shampoo so I'll use conditioner and I have if you guys want like a hair video like how I maintain my hair like like different ways that I style it and like stuff like that um let me know in the comments below or like shoot me an Instagram DM pop up my Instagram right here if you guys want to go check out some fitness and lifestyle stuff give it a follow it's a fun time over there anyway so what's i even saying oh yeah so like i mean i use two different types of conditioner so instead of using like a purple shampoo i use like a, a blue conditioner so i will alternate between conditioners and I'll, I'll shampoo my hair like once or twice a week depending on the week so anyway i just put the oil off of my hair it helps kind of just like try to help maintain the breakage so did that and then i almost always sleep with it in a braid just because i also read that that helps with breakage and because um if i don't sleep with it in a braid then i have to brush it like that again in the morning and i'm just not trying to do that when i have it in a braid i can either work out in the braid which is what i do in the morning or i can take it out and put it in a ponytail and it's really easy to brush out then so yeah Lay down at night i miss you by my side telling me about your secrets i dream and fantasize that all righty you guys that is the end of my skincare plus a little bit of hair care tutorial for nighttime um, I highly recommend all those products that I use. I absolutely love them. They're super clean. They're run by super awesome women. So what else was I going to say? If you guys want to see like a full nighttime routine, let me know. It's about one second. It's about 10 PM right now. I honestly would probably be starting this routine at like 8:30 on a normal night because I'm a grandma. But we played Yahtzee tonight with my family, so I didn't. I'm starting this tonight a little bit later, but it's about 10 p.m. I'm gonna lay down. Sometimes I read, sometimes I watch TV. I'm probably gonna watch TV tonight, like YouTube or something like that. So, if you guys want a full nighttime routine, let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for joining me. If you like the video, please make sure to give it a like and a subscribe. And I will see you guys for the next video. Bye, guys.